Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that on our channel, Deloitte NLA preparation series is going on. So till now we have made two videos in this preparation series. Both of them are already uploaded on this channel. Okay, wherein in one we have discussed the coding questions and in one we have discussed the networking questions. So now this is the third video of this preparation series in which we will continue to discuss the coding questions. Total two coding questions I will be discussing in this video with their codes. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end because every question that we are discussing are previous year questions from Deloitte and they will be useful for you for preparation for your actual exam that will be starting I think from next week or onwards. So make sure do not skip any this any part of this video and for future videos also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel so that you get the notifications of all the videos that we are posting on this channel. Okay. So before moving ahead, do check out this telegram group also which is dedicated for 2025 batch students. Okay. So here the discussions for different different companies are happening whether it is on campus or off campus for 2025 batch. So the link of this telegram group you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Make sure to join it. So guys now let's start this video. Before starting the video make sure to hit that like button. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be discussing the question and then the approach of this question and finally the coding part of this question. Total two coding questions we will be discuss discussing in this video. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. Okay, so first question here is Sara has a box uh, box which has n chocolates in it. Sara decides to give them to Alice and Bob. Bob gets x chocolate and Alice gets remaining y chocolate. Okay, Bob and Alice start fighting for chocolates. So Sara comes up with a game. If Bob gets X chocolate and Alice got Y chocolates and if X is greater than Y then Bob should put Y chocolates into the box and vice versa is also applicable. That is if uh, Bob has more chocolates than Alice then Bob will put those number of chocolates that are with Alice into the box. Okay, So if X is greater than Y so Bob will put Y number of chocolates from his chocolates into the box and vice versa is also applicable. This will continue till either of them are left with zero chocolates or they both have same number of chocolates. So you should write the code to find the number of chocolates in the box. I know by reading this uh, question you won't be getting the answer and you won't be understanding what is written. So let us simply understand with the help of sample input. Okay so guys before moving ahead in this video I would like you to know that on our channel we have launched Deloitte NLA preparation material for 2025 batch students. It is present on the top mid page of our channel. Now in this particular product you will find total 7 sections that is aptitude and English, computer science MCQs, networking MCQs, coding questions, cyber security questions, cloud questions and testing framework questions also. So all these sections in all these sections all the questions have been previously asked in Deloitte only. Okay. So we have clubbed the previous year questions of Deloitte and we are giving you at one place here. Okay. So if I will show you a sample PDF, okay. So let's suppose I open this aptitude and English PDF. So you can see here we have given the proper question, proper options are there, and the answer as well as the explanation of that answer is also there. So this particular material will be helpful for your last minute preparation for Deloitte because see the resources are very large. You don't know from where to prepare. So just we have clubbed the all the resources in this particular preparation material and we are giving it to you. Now it is not free. It is coming at a price of rupees 99. Okay, the access will be lifetime. But since we have launched it today only, so for first 50 students, first 50 students, you are getting a coupon code that is in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So it is having a 15% discount code. So as soon as you see this, if you are interested in this material, you can check them uh, that out. And for first 50 students, 15% discount is applicable. Okay, this is just for Deloitte NLA preparation material. But on our channel, if you are looking for various companies preparation material, you can check out. We have uh, we have a package also of all company exam interview material in which Infosys, <coughs> uh, uh, in interview IT subject notes, Capgemini, Accenture, TCS, and Qt Deloitte are also there in this particular material. So all the links I will give you in the description box. But the 15% discount is only applicable for first 50 students. So do check the uh, comment section. Okay. So now let's continue in the video. So in sample input, two fields will be given total number of chocolates and the number of chocolates with Bob that is four that is X. Okay. So, so if we'll say, so total number of chocolates with Bob is four. 
and total chocolates is 10 so what will be chocolates with y so it will be 6 okay so 4 with bob and 6 with y uh, with at least because 4 plus 6 is 10 and total chocolates are 10 only so initially so 4 and 6 and what are the chocolates remaining in the box it is 0 initially okay then what are the conditions applicable so if x is greater than y then x uh, so then what will happen x will put y number of chocolates from his his hand to the box okay so in this case if you'll see y is greater than x okay y is greater than x so what will y now do so y will put x number of chocolates from his queue into the box so y has six chocolates initially and x has four chocolates initially so now six is greater than four so what y will do it will keep four chocolates from his side to in the box he will keep the chocolates from his side into the box now y has been remained with two chocolates only and x has been remained with four chocolates okay and now the chocolates in the box are four now again same thing will happen so now x is greater than y so what x will do it will take out y number of chocolates from his queue and it will place it into the box so now since uh, y is two so x will take two chocolates from his side and he will put it into the box so now the chocolates left with x is two the chocolate left with, left with y is two and the chocolate in the box is six okay so till when it will continue if either of them uh, if any of one of them get zero chocolates uh, is remained with zero chocolates or they both have same chocolates so in this scenario they both have same chocolates okay so therefore this will end here and now how many chocolates are in the box it is six only so therefore the sample output was six so if it is still not clear let's just jump to the next sample input so total number of chocolates are 11 the chocolates with y uh, chocolate with x that is bob is 4 so let's just do again x y so x is 4 y is 7 because total chocolates were 11 and initially boxes with filled with 0 now since y is greater than x so y y will put x number of chocolates from his side into the box so four chocolates it has y has put into the box now y is remained with 3 and x is remained with 4 now since x is greater than y so what will happen so x from his side will put y number of chocolates into the box so three chocolates it will put so earlier in the box four were there now four plus three seven chocolates are there in in the box how many chocolates are left with x it is one only how many chocolates are left with y it is three total number of uh, chocolates in the box till now is seven now again this condition will happen so one three okay one or three so again y is greater than x so it what will y do y will take out x number of chocolates and it will put into the box so y will take out one number of chocolates from his queue and it will put into the box 7 plus 1 8 now y is remaining with two chocolates x is remaining with two chocolates again y is greater than x so what will y do y will take x amount of chocolates from his queue that is one it will put it into the box the number of chocolates in the box will become nine now the chocolates with x is one the chocolates with y is one they this condition is satisfied that either of them is either zero or they both have same chocolate so since they have same chocolate the, now the total number of chocolates in the box is 9 so therefore sample output is 9 so i hope now the question is clear to you and like uh, what are the test cases that is also clear to you so let's just now quickly jump on towards the approach and the coding part of this question so let's just quickly look into this code so we have n, n and x in the uh, input so we are taking it as input so b represent the number of chocolates in the box initially b is 0 now what is y y will be n minus x okay so now we have got x minus y so there will be a while loop that will be running now what is the condition of while loop either y is not equal to 0 either x is not equal to 0 either x and y should be not equal not same okay so this is a breaking condition of this while loop now inside this while loop we will continuously check these two conditions if x is greater than y or is y is greater than x so if x is greater than y so what will it do so it will take y amount of chocolates from x and it will put it in the into the box so b plus equivalent to y and x will now become x equal to x minus y because y chocolates have been put into the box okay so this is first if condition okay now in else if condition what if y is greater than x so what it will do so in the box y will put x amount of chocolates so box plus equivalent to x and then the y since x chocolates have been taken out of y so there will be therefore y is equal to y minus x and in the end we will have total number of chocolates remaining in the box when either of these conditions is satisfied okay so this was the entire thing let's just test it with the sample input 11 and 4 we are giving and sample output is 9 <clears throat> so let's just see so yeah sample output is 9 and let's just see with 10 and 10 and 4 also in that case answer should be 6 
ओके सो गाइज द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज राइट अ प्रोग्राम दैट एक्सेप्ट टू इन टीचर्स एक्स एंड एन प्रिंट द क्वेश्चन वन एक्स इज डिड बाई एन अगेन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन इट्स जस्ट अ वन लाइन क्वेश्चन ओनली सैम्पल इनपुट इज ट्वेंटी एक्स इज ट्वेंटी एंड एन इज फोर ओके सो वेन विल डिड ट्वेंटी बाय फोर आंसर विल बी फाइव सो इट इज सिंपल सो इट इज फाइव इज ओके नेक्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी वन बाय फोर वेन विल डिड ट्वेंटी वन बाय फोर वट विल बी द आंसर इन कोडिंग लैंग्वेज इट विल बी फाइव ओनली एंड एक्सपेक्टेड आंसर इज ऑल्सो फाइव ओनली Okay, because we do not consider remainder here, we do not consider float here. We just do twenty one divided by four. It will give us integer only. That is five. So this was the like simple question. Let's just quickly move towards its code. It is again a very one line of code only. Okay, so we are taking input x, we are taking input n, c in x, c in n, c out x divided by n, and it will give us the correct answer. Twenty one divided by five. We will check. It will give us the four. Okay. so lot of you are uh, will be thinking that these questions are really asked or not but you can go on telegram and you can find that case these questions are really asked in deloitte so i hope this entire question is is clear to you so this was it for this video thank you for watching this video and if you want to give us mock interviews you can always come and give us give it to us and the links you will find in the description box thank you for watching this video